We of course gonna check in with some other places all over the country. Right now we going to my man Leon Grant, representing Shottown. Leon, what's good? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, the Destin Legend, Leon Rogers. Whitney City in the Go Hill, and repping behind me is Whitney Young High School, man. Hold it down. What up, fellas? Y'all all right? That's what I'm talking about, man. We get it in. Windy City, go ill. You already know how we do. 312 773 708. Stand up. Stand up. No doubt. Thank you, Leon. It's going down. Yeah. That's what's happening in <laughs> Chicago. We also got to bring the West Coast into the building. Don't let that happen. Take a joint might be from Brooklyn, but his legacy was made here. 
in Chicago. Talk to him. What's up, Chris? My name is Tyrone Hughes, and my question is, what do you think is the most underrated part of your game? Actually, I don't think uh, my game is under. I think it might be overrated. <laughs> and um, the reason being, I was fortunate enough to play with great players. You know, it's no secret. C Square, we love you out here in the Windy City that goes ill. I got a young lady that want to ask you a question. Hey, Cynthia, um, my question is, what's your favorite on the court memory? Court memory. September 29, 1988, we were in Seoul, Korea. We were playing in the gold medal game. September 29th was my mom's birthday. We won the gold medal in Seoul, Korea, beating Yugoslavia. Damn! <laughs> and I was able to present my mom with the gold medal on her birthday to the 1988 Seoul Olympics, so that was very special to me. Beautiful story. Beautiful. Since you got so much love for Chicago, let's head back to Chicago for a second question. That's right, man. Put it up to no good. West Side all day. Shout out to Shaq Brown and Doc Rivers. What's up? You got another question, sweetheart? Yeah. Um, what lessons from your playing days have you taken with you into coaching? Oh, great question. You, hey, you want to come play for me? Um, right. I would tell you the biggest lesson that I've taken into coaching is uh, hard work. Um, as a player, I worked extremely hard. I was in the gym before my team got there for practice. I was in the gym after my team left. Most of the time, I would take up the rookie and have them work with me. I would play them one-on-one. -on -one. We play defense, we shoot. Just working on my game behind the scenes when no one else was looking and no one else cared. So I take my work ethic not only um, as a player, but I take it into my coaching. Um, and then my passion. I love the game of women's basketball. I love basketball. So it doesn't cost me anything, or it didn't cost me anything to run the sprints to do the extra work, to make the sacrifices, to not be out in the streets or not in the party, but to be in the gym working on my game, trying to get better. So I take that kind of work ethic and that type of passion for the game of women's basketball to my the Lions crowd, LA, is in back to the Shout out to my LA for, I need them Kobe's too, by the way. Um, those two. Now, uh, yeah, we, we need those. Now, uh, Leon, out in Chicago, there's a discrepancy and an argument about who's the greatest basketball of all time. And what does Chicago have to say about that? I'm glad you came to me on this subject, my friend. I just want to say this to the uh, little young man who came up there in Massachusetts and said that Kobe is the greatest player all of all time. Well, my homeboys from Whitney Young got a little something that we'd like to say to you right now. Gentlemen, one, two, three. And I'm out. Back to you, Tigger. Back to you, Tigger. <laughs> Leon, you do have on a Kobe shirt, though, uh, Leon.